I'm Tim. I'm Tyler. We're Double Down Reviews. Join us this month for our March to Infinity War. Things are getting serious. For our first review this month, we'll be looking at Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy and Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. We'll do a little comparison review. There they are. We'll take a look at differences in packaging before we get to the figures. Both figures come in a standard Hot Toys box. This one has a little window on the front to uh, with the uh, awesome mix volume number two. This one just has a picture of the character on the front with the Sideshow exclusive sticker if you pre-ordered that one. Is yours a deluxe version also? Uh, I don't know what deluxe. I don't think they were doing that yet. It's just okay. exclusive, so it came with some extra pieces. Inside the window box, you can see the figure inside and the accessories. The back looks like the uh, the prison lineup when they are arrested in the first movie. And this whole box is pretty much designed to look like a stereo. <laughs> um, if you look closely here, it's supposed to be like the speaker, the bottom has the pegs for the stand, there's all the knobs, and uh, yeah, it's supposed to be like the crate amp almost, and he's got his little stickers on him, and then the back of it looks like the back of a boombox. Um, like I said, this is uh, the deluxe version of Star-Lord from Volume 2, so he came with a few more accessories than if you were to just get the standard. Um, I believe the deluxe version came with... I think it was this piece, which is like the mask, wraps around his, yeah, like, in action. Yep, like, uh, as it's going around his head. And I believe it also came with this. And the deluxe version also came with his long coat, as well as another undershirt underneath. Um, yeah. And then both figures came with uh, separate head sculpts, the mask and unmasked. Uh, version to Star Lord. And uh, came with way more accessories than mine. <laughs> yeah, and uh, a lot of hands. Yeah, mine came with five hands total, including these two. A lot of hands, and uh, even came with uh, the uh, cassette, his Walkman, his headphones, and you can actually have the mixtape right there, folks. Um, but yeah. Uh, so let's talk about differences in uh, just design. Um, like we noticed beforehand, we even noticed that the the hair sculpts are different in the mast heads compared yeah. to the the two. Which, Not a reuse piece, which is very nice. Even though you know the mask technically didn't change, they made a whole new piece for it, which is really cool. Nah, uh, it looks like the paint on the guns is even a little different. Yeah. Yours is a little better, a little more detail. Uh, this one was just from the first movie when he wears the long coat the entire time. Uh, there we go. It's really cool that he did a wireframe in his coat. Yeah, I think I, I do think this one has the wireframe also. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep. Um, this Star Lord also came with uh, his vest. Um, what was it? His necklaces, and then this was kind of a cool little thing that came with it. Each each hot toy um, for um, Guardians Two came with a different Baby Groot, and uh, Star Lord's actually, if you drop his arm down, sits right on his lapel. <laughs> And uh, just hangs out there. It's got a little magnet, right? That's yep. how it stays. Got a little magnet. But uh, I thought that was a really cool little detail that they threw in. Just hanging out on his shoulder. Yeah. Otherwise, you can display him just on a little rock base. Um, I was, I was just going to go over accessories of so all this one. It comes with this backpack that he's wearing in the first movie in that intro heist. Inside, it actually opens up. I have his little, like, flashlight. Ball he uses in the beginning, and 
the orb that everybody's looking for. That's cool. And it comes with his two guns. The head, the alternate head sculpt. He has his Walkman and headset as well. Uh, on the sides of the boots, he has the little jet packs. Little rocket boots. Alternate hands for holding the orb or holding the sphere. Uh, some handcuffs to put on him. I believe that's all he came with, even though that's a Sideshow Deluxe version. <laughs> Things have changed in a couple of years. Yep. And uh, this Star Lord came with, it looks like. <sighs> How many hands we got? Eleven hands. Eleven hands, so pretty much you can have him doing anything and everything you could ever imagine. Um, how does the... Did the back of the helmet just pop off for yours when yep. you light it up? Yeah. I just pull it out. Yeah, the same thing with mine. Uh, weapon hands that are gloved, and two ungloved weapon hands, and then you have a relaxed palm, and you have another weapon grip. Lots of stuff. How's, how's the articulation on this one? The jacket on this one kind of restricts some of his arm movement, especially on this side with the, there's like a shoulder pauldron thing. Oh, okay. Can't really... Um, this one's not too bad. Further than that. Um, you can definitely rotate him around. Um, you can definitely do you know, some iconic, you know, doesn't restrict him from having his hands all the way up. Bending back, maybe he's going to itch his forehead. Um, drop that down. Um, I haven't put on the long coat yet. I'm sure that that would also restrict a little more just because it'll be pulling more. Do you have the shoulder pad on that one? No. In the second movie? Um, but yeah, uh, nothing really restrictive. Uh, I did think it was cool that they put magnets on the inside of the coat too, so you could like fold his lapels down if you wanted to, oh, and have them button up differently. Otherwise, you just push it back, magnets right back in place. Um, like I said, you got his, you got his uh, Elvis scarf. <laughs> and the attention to detail that they did on this guy's, like the, just the tailoring of everything, and I, I, how did they do? They have the holsters for his guns on yours. Yep. Or, okay. Look okay, yeah, here on the sides of the legs, there's holsters, and the guns snap on. Clip on. Really cool design. It's sexy. It's sleek. We so. have a perfect paint job of Chris Pratt's mustache lip. <laughs> I think the sculpt on that one is better than this one. This one's, the likeness is there, but not as much as it is in that one. They got it. They did a really good job on the second one. You're doing that. Show up tattering on the jacket here. It's like rips and tears on the back. Like scorch marks. All the different adventures he's been on. All the detail of raised line work up here on the front in the leather. All looks really good. <clears throat> Backpack is removable. You can pop the snap up here, take it off over him. It also opens up and can carry some of his smaller accessories or the cassette player if you want to put that in there. And uh, I just removed his upper coat, or his like shorter coat, just to kind of show off um, posability and, uh, like I said, the fact that it came with two different shirts, which is kind of cool. Uh, I picked this one, just a little more iconic in the film, but uh, yeah. And you can see the detail is Walkman, he's got his necklace on, even his little earbuds for... Uh, Turning on his helmet. And then, uh, you can try to put on the other coat if you want. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'd be too scared to try to do that, but do a, measurement wise, that should be pretty do similar. Do a measurement between the two, even though they're probably exactly the same. About 12 and a quarter for Guardians 1. Draw in the corner for Guardians 2. He didn't grow at all. Nope. Articulation overall, 
He's got a knee swivel here. I'm sure there's an ankle joint under the belt or the boot, but can't access it with the boot being all one piece. Oh, knee bend. His, the boot is one piece on that one. Yeah. This one is, they have, have that lift. It's like a boot cover. Yep, it's like a boot cover almost, yeah. so you can have that. You do get the ankle in there. And yeah, it does actually help if you're going to do more of like an action pose. You could have that ankle catching. This is why we do the comparison. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Thigh movement, up and down. Not a lot of movement. The pants are a little restrictive. We go sideways about that far. He's got waist articulation, left and right, all around. Arms, and the shoulders, elbows, hands, the head. The head is the pop off, so it connects with the, under the neck, under the chin there. So the ankle actually pivots on this one because of the way the boot is cut. And you got knee movement here, legs forward and back, side to side. Waist, so like there's a mid torso cut also. Arms go up, the shoulders, double joint in the elbows, so he can really get his arms bent in. Wrists on pegs, so they can pop off, replace the hands. And the head sculpt is the same pop off head sculpt like that one on the ball joint. Look at that pose. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Walkman dangling and everything. This one, I would say the Guardians 1 figure is a cool figure. Um, I just got that one because that was the one out at the time. But if you had a choice between the two, I would go with the Guardians 2 figure just because of the amount of accessories, the better sculpt, and you get a cool little group that magnetizes to a jacket. That one went up. Cause he sold out after Guardians kind of blew up, didn't it? I'm sure. Yeah, yes he did. And this one went up in price, but it might have come back down now that this one's coming out. I'm <laughs> sure and a, an Infinity War Star Lord will come out. So like, that, yeah, it's probably evened out by now. Yeah, this one's cool. If you have a choice, get this one. <laughs> <laughs> this one's good. That one's better. Uh, bottom yeah. line, Infinity War. It's coming. Come. Real soon. We'll have many more Marvel figures to come this month. So stay tuned. Lead up to Infinity War. The march to Infinity War. And the power! <laughs>